to yes finally 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 so of course i'm back for another really quick 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 hoggers eh, look at my video so of course we got the girls we got some girls this year you already know it again this is nothing surprising because we always get this type of thing every year we get two new of course peppy gal slash you know girl units in the game the rest of them are easy as or awakenings we got a lot with this one i'm just jumping right in because there's so much stuff on here to go for we got a new chile unit and of course we got a new uh boss unit right here again they get a great follow info as well for all the translations everything oh it's cool dude i didn't expect this this is in like utterly insane that bubble in my throat but yeah I, I was like what the heck is this i was like i just um, woke up and I'm just looking at this. I was like, okay, I got the Reddit video to do. Oh, we got a new um, newsletter. Okay, I'm done with that. Um, I was bothering the heck out of me in that video, so you'll see in that video whenever I upload that one. Um, then I'm looking at this. I'm like, I'm like, what? I'm like, what the heck is this? I'm like, a new Fasha? Is, uh, huh? Like, what? Then uh, we get a new Chile unit, and then we get like, what? Like, 50 new easy A's in here. Like, what the heck is going on? They're dropping so much stuff before the day. What? I I'm just. What? Like, I have no idea what's going on. I'm like, dude, what the heck is happening? Like, what is happening? So, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, it happens. Um, but yeah, um, we'll go over them really quickly. I'll talk about them though, of course. We're jumping right in because we got so much of this. So, uh, but those gonna be tired from reading all this. So, of course, um, Fosh, let's go over her real quick. Realist skill is Low Cost Warrior, Puppy Gal Key 3, everything up 130. Pretty cool. I'm um, gonna get this say, Leader Skill is kind of just okay. Super Attack Effect, Raise Attack Up for one turn, Supreme Damage, Hide, Chance is done. Excuse me. By the way, if I talk really fast in the video, I'm sorry. There was so much info on here, and this is good. If I talk slow and take my time, it's gonna take forever. So, sorry if I go too fast. I just, there's so much info to react to go over it. The girls are cooking and they're going crazy in my head right now. So yeah, passive again. They, they make always use a cra crazy OP with Oceanus and what? Like, this happens like always use kind of release type of releasely release type of re they, these kind of girl units always release before Dallas celebration or sometime begin in the beginning of the year. Okay, Emil. That was okay. Oh, that's horrible. But yeah, again, this is typical. It happens every year. I thought the Drubio was gonna get an easy A anyway, though, and I'm glad she got an easy A. She's a really good, you know, she just she destroys Universal of all of a sudden super battle around. And now she's gonna demolish it. Her the free to play easy A's of the Pippi Gal units and like killing Cliff on the same team. I, I, I don't know, man. That Pippi Gal team Pippi Gal is really underly randomly disgusting. And they always make all the girl units insane and Again, not a, you know, a good, you know, a relatively t good team to not talk about, but this team is insane when they can get crazy stuff done. It's always insane. Like, oh, Shannon was insane when she first came out. Launch was insane because she had the first turn transformation. Ripriann, when she first came out, the free play, Kukunza, Rosie, uh, Ripriann, they, they got their easy A's. They're pretty much all the same unit, but just, they all need to be on the same team, but it, it, Pepe Gals is insane. They upgraded a lot and it's really good. Again, it's a really disgustingly good team in the game. No one talks about it. Again, because all the category units and stuff like that, though, of course. But again, the Pepe Gals units can do their own thing in their own way and their own thing, and they can destroy things, and I love it. Uh, passive does attack defense um, 150 plus a start return gu guard activated against all attacks for four turns from first appearance. Um, which they've been doing a lot of first appearance stuff. Big sense because of intro animations. From the additional attack that has a high chance of becoming a super attack. Starting from the fifth turn. Ooh, from the start of turn, that was real bad. Gains additional attack defense of 30%. With each attack received up to max of 150. Gains additional attack defense of 30% each each time guard is activated. If there is a three or more public guy or class warrior, low, low class warrior category odds um, on the team, called just be on the team, they can only have rotation. Because that would be insane. Um, other than this character is up to a max of 150. So basically, she stacks a lot, but you have to have a certain amount of Peppy Gals with low class warrior in the category. And she can, again, she's pretty much you have to stack her up for her to be really good. And kind of a handicap, kind of okay. Probably not the best one. Again, like I said, she seems pretty okay. I, just this part, just like you had to use other units to help her out and just you know, kind of build her up to be good. I kind of hate units like that, but at the end of the day, they could be still really good, though. Just, I don't know, they could made her dig in, they could really make her up here. Links are Team Bardock, same Warrior Race, same Prize, same Lineage. Bafo Diva, Player for Battle, Shining Limit, really good Link set. Categories of Low Class Warrior, Peppy Gals, Pure Sands, uh, Team Bardock, Play Shuffling Warriors, and of course, Story Figures. I guess she's not a bad unit, she's really, really good, but I, I feel like just to, they put so much handicaps on her, like she had to build up, that she had to do this to be good, like she had to have support and she had to be good. I don't care about the support, That's, this is easy to do, I don't care about this, but she had to build up a lot to get that. I kind of do hate that in some units though, you just have to build them up and build them up to be good, but 
at the end of the day, that is Dogen period, though, you have to build up to be good, but I don't know, I feel like it just is to, like, you know, you gotta do this, you gotta do additional attack to get, you know, for this, you gotta, gotta do stacking it. Like, I know it's typical Doken stuff, but I feel like for her, it's really, really that Doken force problem, though. Onto Chile, of course, a unit that's been long awaited into the game. So she just bought a French of key 3, everything at 130. So attack effect, which her sword attack looks really good, like, for this type of unit. Well, greatly raised defensive for, for one turn, and so, oh, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, they awaken right on the spot, too. Because they're 120, yeah, they awaken right on the spot. The defense is really low, though. And Pippa Gut students are just really low defense, though, but, um, yeah. Uh, then Chile's care, yeah, that's a good pass. <laughs> Chile's care is good, alright. Yeah, she gets her care, alright. If it just saw with the reaction with this, yeah, she cares, alright. She doing something, alright. Q3 in, tech, in defense at 130, start of a turn, reveals the location of enemy super attacks, so the Reddit Scouter effect, oh, here we go again. During this, during this attack, um, uh, attacking turn, randomly changes type of key straight to rainbow. A movie ball, oh yeah, really, she like, could be really good with this unit. Um, great chance to have enemies attack, um, attack in defense of 39% for each attack received. During, as I said, during the sun's up, I was like, yeah, you guys got a long time, um, um, yeah, dodge, so she basically dodges, she has a scouter effect, and she changes orbs, yeah, definitely way better than Fajr, recover 39% HP, and at the end of a turn, whenever three more attacks have been, um, dodged during that, um, battle, max of three activations, all allies other than this character get three key, and deck defense with 51%. Okay, she's the opposite of Fajr, she's really good, I don't know, Fajr, just, you gotta build her up, about to do that. She looks just good, like, support right off the bat, orb changing, she's gonna be really good, rolling Chile and Lemo, and they finally got a good support unit with this, again, Great support unit, just what they really need it. Like, this is what you really need it, though. Links are fully cold judgment again. Links are crappy. A uh, new freezer army, battlefield diva, solid support, brainiacs. Um, I say own the family. <laughs> yeah, she's good for really. Um, sharing limit, kind of goes a bond of friendship, puppy gals, and of course, um, pleasure on the Again, these kind of do suck, though, a little bit, though, just because, again, like I said, it makes sense for a character. You know, maybe the character from the like that. Definitely doesn't make sense, but overall, though, um, she's not a bad unit. Good support overall around key, remote orb changing, helping out everybody else, dodging. Yeah, I think she's really better than Fasha, in my opinion, though. Who's on the GT, of course, the next easy unit. Uh, her leader scroll, I think, is physical, it's physical, and I did some research again. Extended full research before I did the video, because I already have all these units already in the game. Besides, of course, again, on Global, again, I play Global, and I already have these guys on Global, girls. I'll say girls. All these girls on global already, right, and I'm like, already have them, like, rainbowed or done or whatever. Or at least one copy of each, I don't care. I'll just get one copy of mine. I don't need to rainbow or do them, because I'm going to get them later in the future. Anyway, via coins or something else in the future. So she does STR and physical types, key three, I think of 90%. I know her super attack, but I get the straight attack to the full one turn. And supreme damage, I think. Or something like that, though. But under a passive now, again, Gresh turns translate the passive. Okay, here's the Okay, great way to attack and defensive for one turn. Supreme damage is still super attack. Okay, that's not sure. Her passive does attack defense plus 150 at the start of a turn, gains additional attack plus 20% at the start of every turn, max of 100, holy crap, gains additional attack when performing a super attack, Pepe Guns category allies key 3 and attack, and, and attack, no end defense of 120 and gives 2 key in defense for 50% for all, as well, not Pepe Gao category, um, who are not, who are not in the Pepe Gao category, medium chance of performing a crit. Okay, not bad. She's a decent unit. Again, they may just rely on her attack and stuff like that, though. But she can be a, a good support. Like, good support and a good attack and defense can go a long way for a unit like this. Again, when she first came out, she was decent. She was pretty okay. Now, she's she's pretty good. She's a pretty good... Again, you're going to use this unit probably in other stuff. Like Easy A or somewhere, so about her, maybe. Again, that's when they're going to be the time to shine. They're gonna be, no, they don't look good on paper, but once you start using them, they'll get a lot better and everything. Um, Chi Chi seems okay. She seems pretty okay. Again, support and attack and defense. A good balance of both. I actually like that though in that kit. Again, you have to you know, wait and stuff like that a little bit. Kind of like how Pasha does, but not bad. You know, again, she, this is good. Like this is the this is decent design. Like attack, the balancing attack and defense and that build up and of course like not attack, not make build up. Yeah, build up and key like and key and good key support like this. This is a good balance of both. This is what Pasha should have gotten. Like she kind of is, but it's like you gotta use a lot to build her up. And then you had to build her up from a passive, then you just gotta build her up a lot, and then, which is finally good, maybe the turn ends or whatever, I don't know. I think it's, it takes a lot of build up for her, though, but she's just kind of the same way, but yeah. On to um, the key TT right here, of course. She does physical and end key 3. Um, yeah, everything up 90%. Uh, you have super attack effective, raise attack, greatly raise attack, and defensive for one turn. Extreme damage with a great chance to stun. Uh, attack plus, yeah, when she first came out, she, this was a, a crazy. Attack plus one, um, 
um, 300, yeah, attack plus 330 when Flamingo Super Attack. Attack minus 30%. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. She did lower her attack. That's why she really wasn't good for that long, though. For three turns, after receiving an attack, gains two key, and defense plus 200%. There's a another character who has Goku Youth on the team. Um, gains additional key to a defense of 20%. If there's another character who's attacking at the same turn, there's a chance of a homework crit. Um, and a chance to be in these attacks plus 20% per youth category ally attacking at the same turn other than this character. I don't know, this character's not really hitting me the hardest. Like, oh, they're not like, oh my gosh, but when the Chi Chi first came out, I forgot she had this kind of detriment and she kind of had a Goku on the team. This is pretty much what they had for her. They gave her a massive attack, massive defense, but they kind of limited to their kid Goku after that point. But now she gets defense and stuff like that, of course. Again, I mean, they made for a youth team, even though you're not going to probably run her at all on the youth team. Another okay unit. Again, like I said, nothing like really shocking me right here. Like, nothing crazy. Like, that's really bad. This is really good. This is really good. Like, good, bad, good. Like, yeah, like, good, bad, good. Uh, yeah, you gotta use her on a youth, because there's no way you're doing Pepper Gals. She is mainly made for a youth team, even though you're not gonna really use this character anyway, just because. No one, I. I don't think no one's gonna. Again. Or was it earlier this year, I think? We got all the other Pepper Gals units. They were great. These girls just. Even before they came out, they, they were already pretty good when they first released, not bad units, but now it just... Yeah... I mean, it's good, like, the defensive buffs are amazing, like, attack amazing, but it's like, you're gonna hit that lower For three turns, that's what, like, 60-80% probably of your attack gone, and that's pretty much half of that's gone, and... Defense is really good, again, more attack and some of that to you, but it's like, yeah. On to probably way the best unit, like, the unit that came out pretty much ATL Trills in a nutshell. Bola, so let's see what she can do. Um, I remember loving her a lot. So again, she really was just her less copy and paste and pretty much different puppy girls. Okay, under her pass, her um, super tech. Right? I think she does AGL and tech key three. I think up ninety percent. Again, these skills suck anyway. Who cares? Uh, as a effect, raise the greater raise attack up and with greater raise attack, supreme damage as well as attack defense. Amazing. That's already good. Uh, raising attack attack is really good because that's really good. Defense plus 88%, holy crap. In defense start of a turn and gains additional defense of 88% with Flamingo Super Attack. Holy crap! All allies key 3 and attack defense of 40% gains additional attack defense of 20%. Intensive to evade enemies attacks for 35% per Puppy Gal characters. Puppy Gal characters, um, Puppy Gal's category ally on the team. 35% per per Puppy Gal's category ally on the team. Attack defense max, uh, max above 40% and chances of beatings of 70% gains additional key 3 and chance to perform a crit of 18% if there's an ally who has Vegeta on the team. Again, yeah, just Vegeta, no kid, no junior. Which, again, she is going to be usable for Vegeta family pretty much now. Um, and gains additional attack plus 80% from Pongo Super Attack. If there's another character attacking the same turn. Okay, this unit is the definition of broken right here. Out of Chi Chi, out of the other adult Chi Chi, out of probably Fasha, she easily got the best treatment. I think her and Chi were actually pretty both good though. Like, again, probably not the most like, like passive. I mean, I mean Chi Chi is really good for Gen. Just because she's amazing, amazing support for both Chi Lai Lemo. And in general, she's just an amazing support. Again, they really want to use them with that team, same team though. But, um,. She's really good too. Again, I, I had the feeling they were gonna go all out for her. When I saw the passive, I was like, when I saw the paragraph long passive like this being translated, um, just like like right here, on the here, I was like, what the heck are they doing? It's literally Turles on crack right here. Like, what the heck is going on? Like, it's Turles on coffee and yeah, it's like on coffee and um milk and water right here like it's like coffee milk water extra load of sugar and cocoa in here like what are you cooking doken like this is a good unit right here really good on to the last unit probably my favorite unit again these two easily my favorites on here oh again this her, her, oh go oh, lordy the oh, lordy she got a paragraph long passive again easy clip it gals key three early go 150 um super tech effect i think it's very technical defense up for one turn Again, when she first came out, she was insane, and yeah, and this has been a long way to win for me. Again, she was only good before. The plan was good update what she did before. Um, anyway, no, well, she has a launch. Got I think next year probably she has a launch. We'll get an ECA. They're gonna be insane. Launch is already good. Oh lord, she yeah, had is. What are they gonna do with you, girl? They gonna make you wild? <laughs> but yeah, uh, of course. On to um her. Oh, bless and music left and right right here. Okay. Um, let's go, of course, like I said, um, Pepe got to get through everything on 150. Easy, easy, easy. 
Super attack effect, raise attack defense up, and cause supreme damage and steal super attack. Easy. That's that's amazing. Again, amazing leader skill. I think she was transformation boost before. They could put the overhaul her leader skill. It'd be cool. Oh, it would have been broken if she was Peppy God in transformation boost. But it's ain't that Peppy God's transformation boost. They're really kind of crossover. She's in the category, but they don't really cross over that many units, though, so who cares? Attack, her passive attack defense up 140, gains additional attack defense up 20%, and all enemies attack defense up minus. Oh, all enemies, okay, all enemies attack defense up minus um, 10%, up to max of 30 per Peppy Gals category on the team. Again, you're gonna really want to run over Peppy Gals, and that helps all a lot. Again, in the universe of the Saga, the universe of the Bible Saga Super Battle Road, the, and she just, again, she debuffs, like, debuffs, seals. Raise up her own attack effect. She can tank like turn one to two already. And again, she takes a little bit of time to build up though. Like after like yeah, pretty much like after the rotation again. Her brand get Rosie can come on one the rotation. Utterly, utterly just makes that super you know, versus of all the cycles by a joke. You're attacking you gain attack left and right from multiple enemies and they just debuff seal like you're gonna get make it super attack one or two times a turn, but you're gonna just oof, like I have she they made her good. Category, um ally on the team. The yeah, team, Peppy God's category allies key to and attack defense of 30%. Again, makes sense why this is limited because of just. Again, ma make, makes sense because, again, she already, she's still doing so much already. Uh, Performing the additional attack that has a medium tense kind of super attack if the target enemy is in attack down status and defense down status. Attack or defense down status. Which, again, like I said, it's just utterly insane. I mean, half the time she's gonna get super attack, it's an extra super attack anyway, just for potential system or just in general. She doesn't randomly get sometimes. From the additional attack that has a medium to becoming a super attack, um, if the target enemy is in the sealed or stun status. Again, like I said, it's pretty much, yeah, they would update her before from what she did before. Again, this can go a long way. In Universal, Universal Survival Super, super Battle Road, stunning, again, the Rosie, Kakunza, the Int, the Int, the AGL, Kakunza, and Int Rosie, they stun and seal. Like, sh um, they both stun and, s I think they, yeah, they both stun and seal. And you run her on that team rotation. Her, Kakunza, or Rosie, all in the same rotation. The free play once, the free play AGL, Kakunza, the free play Int Rosie. And you run them and her on the same rotation, you're not gonna get hurt. Like, trust me, you're gonna be debuffing the first turn or second turn. You're not gonna get hurt. You're not gonna get touched. Even like Young Cleefa, like, you have them on the team team as well. They're just utterly insane, utterly broken, utterly disgusting. Like, you need no assistance or help. They can pretty much destroy everything. So, yeah, again. Really good updates. Again, these two, these are the best ones. Again, update from what she did before. Makes sense. If they had something new, they wish, like crit or whatever, she had made her way broken. Makes sense why they kind of limited down. Because she already does so much of her passive. So it makes sense. Again, she's good. She is amazing. Again, update a little bit from what she did before. These two are just, again, best units out here. Again, okay. Okay, nothing crazy. Um, I find Chile a little bit more better than probably Vasha right here. But yeah. Again, they get a great for all the info as well and everything. Of course, but again, I'm going to end the video there for sure. You already know it's going to be long because I call already. So, yeah. See you guys later, though. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Great life. All good. Again, that make sure we're safe, safe, watching. Come on, all of you. Come on, Alpine, or Mad Zone, Blood Paper. We really need to give access if we can. Go outside to some guys in Kobe. I'm sure to my friend the Discord. So, everywhere, my throat's freaking hurting already. So, what you got to think about all this video, of course, is like you hit it again. This is like a religious video on crack right now. So, what you got to think about all this, all this video, of course, is like you hit it again. Very simple, very easy, very crazy stuff right here again. Um, again. You, you're amazing again. Use her on Super Battle, uh, Universal Battle Super, Super Battle Road, and come back and tell me she's not good or not. I dare you. I triple dog dug, Dimadome. Dare you to tell me she's not good, and you're just again turtles on crack, and you just, sorry, you guys just don't cut it for me. I'm sorry. I like I find Chile better than of course you know. But yeah, in the video for sure, though, my throat freaking hurts. I wasn't gonna do a Beyblade, you know, full retrospective of all the series because we're heading to the next gen. I might do it still. I don't know. My throat kind of hurts right now. See you guys later, though, again, though. So.